Hello guys, it's Elmer again, your fire protection guy. So welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to test this Brooks Microfire conventional fire detection system. So this one is connected to the fire brigade. So we have to isolate first the fire brigade signal or the alarm signal equipment, this one, and then once isolated, we're going to initiate the test. So let's start. Okay, we're going to begin testing this Microfire 530 Brooks Fire Alarm Panel. This is a conventional fire alarm system. So first, we're going to isolate the alarm signal equipment. We had a key for that. And we're going to put that to a test mode. So there's your test mode. We are allowed two hours and after that, for example, you left the key there or you remove the key, it will automatically back to no, automatically normalize after two hours, all right? So let's open the panel and then, all right. So there's is our, this, there's our fire indicating panel display. So right now all the system is normal. So we're going to make an announcement first. Put this to manual and then PA system. PA and then we're going to make the announcement. Your attention please, the fire alarm system is on test. Please disregard all emergency warning, the fire alarm system on test. Thank you. All right, so after that, that there for a while and then we're going to put this to automatic all right now to test this one you have to isolate first the belt and then the warning system so both two are now isolated we can isolate as well the ancillary control facility anyway it does not exist so there's no connection in it so we just don't bother with it and then we start doing it menu Right, so you have, sorry, uh, there's a bit of dark here, F1 for operator, F2 for commissioning. So we go to F1, F1, operator, so, so F1 is for test, F1, and then an alarm, F1 again, and then you pick a zone, so since this is a conventional zone, panel so just pick a zone whatever you want so let's say just an existing one zone one and then after that we press enter there you are so the alarm system activates this one is still on PA so we clear that one by pressing cancel oh, sorry manual and then cancel and then put it to automatic and then this one there you are, you can hear the bell, and then this one should be the occupant warning system. Let's cover it. Manual, cancel, and then press the back. You still have an alarm, all you have to do is press acknowledge. So the LED light will steady and then you press reset. And then it says acknowledge to continue reset. Acknowledge all clear. There's still an active light because that we need to reset that. That will clear. And then put the system to normal. System now is normal. So that's basically easy, isn't it? Another thing is we have to check if the fire brigade or the alarm signal equipment send a signal to the fire brigade through the ASE. So we're going to initiate another alarm. So just to show it to you. I forgot to show it to you earlier. So let's enter that. 
Okay, so at while there is an active alarm, we're going to check the ASE. So you will notice the alarm signal equipment. The ASE is blinking and showing the signal is going there. And then once we reset the system, let's I reset that. Okay, up downwards and then I reset the alarm. So that will clear. Hold on, I still have the alarm. Then that will clear. Look, that clears. Okay. So the alarm clear here as well. So we just reset everything and uh, system back to normal. All done. Right, so that's how we test the micro five. 530 conventional fire detection system. Now we are finished with our testing. We have to make an announcement that the test is being completed. So, and well, okay. All testings are now complete. All testings are now complete. So that's it, and then we'll fill up the logbook, and all is done. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in my next video, please don't forget to subscribe to support this channel, see you next time.